Okay, so what if, uh, what if we're the one who's having some sort of episode and none of this is real, you know? And this is all just a way for our brain to deal with our problems and like the fenced off area is supposed to represent the problem that we need to overcome. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're like brain barriers? Yeah, exactly. Will you read this? Yeah. Uh, can we, oh we can't pick it up. July sixteenth, nineteen. Okay, so you were right. This What's, is this is nineteen eighty nine, not nineteen eighty six. Go ahead. Yeah. So all of those notes were about someone else. Yep. What the fuck difference a day makes? Holy hell! I don't even know where to begin. It's late past midnight, so I'm gonna write down everything that happened today as fast as I can. I went down to the lake and found a clipboard and walkie talkie and I don't know how to describe this. I don't know what to say. Other than someone is listening to Delilah and I. I know that sounds crazy, but someone is out here listening to us and attacked me. They're taking notes about our conversations. We think there might be some sort of study going on. Like, (laughs) maybe we were given these jobs not just to look for fires, but to be part of a behavioral study or something. Fuck. I know this all sounds insane. It is insane. I don't know how to explain any of it. Okay, I don't think there's a study here, bro. No. (laughs) Delilah definitely heard someone on our walkie-talkies, too. It wasn't just me. I'm rambling here. She heard someone, too. I tried calling her a couple times tonight, but we don't want to talk on these anymore. I don't know what we're going to do. I find it really suspicious that no one mentioned Delilah, but they knew who the guy was that Delilah didn't even know existed. Huh? They what knew guy? the the guy who who works at the the W station. D- oh, Doctor Whatever. Yeah. Who knew? Hmm. Who knew him? The the firefighters in the letter, they were talking about him, but not about Delilah. Oh no, they they yeah they well they directed them to go out there, to protect that place, but Delilah didn't know anything about it. Yeah. Yeah. Got our pack. I didn't know fires lasted that long. Yeah. They'll burn all summer. So wait, what date is it? Hold on. I just wanted to check again. Today's date is... It is July 16th. So yesterday was July 16th. Yes. Don't tread on me. It's a rattlesnake. (sighs) No, I would love to have this job. Just for a while. But I have too many, like... Which is... I had the... Well, no. I'm happy. But this would be a cool job to have in some sort of fantasy land. Wait. So what do we... Oh, okay, we need to go to a certain place on the map. Cottonwood Creek. That's Thoroughfare Basin. Ah, okay. So we're gonna go south and we're then We're gonna right. go back to the where the fire camp the camp was <laughs> gonna go okay heading in the right direction so this is the type of thing where I wish that there was a way to do it and for me to not be so scared of it you're how do you how are you feeling right now me yeah no, I mean, in real life, I wish that I could, like, stay outside in a cabin oh. in the woods and just, like, enjoy being in the nature, and that it wouldn't, that I wouldn't, like... Okay, bring a dog. Yeah. I mean, that I wouldn't, like, you know, because I, like, I obsess about death sometimes. Yeah. And I just think that... My o- my always emotional protection has always been the dogs here. I'm okay. Yeah. Because even if the dog's too small to protect you, the dog knows when something's there. Yeah. Like, you can just be fucking around and playing, have headphones on. Dog is always alert because the dog thinks, you know, their job is to... Protect you? Protect you. Even if it's a little dog and they can hear better than you, they can see better than you, they can smell better than you. Mm -hmm. So if the dog is chill, you're fine. Yeah. And even when the dog freaks out, most of the time, that's still not an issue. Mm Mm-hmm. So that's why, like, I used to be afraid of ghosts. I'm not anymore. I'm just like, whatever. 
bit that my way of feeling better about it is I would just sleep with my dog because I'm like, oh, the dog will know if ghosts are here. <laughs> so if the dog is relaxed, that means there's no ghosts. Never mind, like, whether there are ghosts or not. There's no ghost because the dog is okay. Yeah, the dog doesn't see anything, so. Because obviously that's the first thing that the ghosts would do is take out the dog, so I'd be safe. I'd no, have time because, to run away. Because, you know, they're like, dogs can sense ghosts or whatever, you know? You never yeah. heard of that? Where dogs can sense ghosts? Uh-huh. Well, anyway, so if you guys are afraid of ghosts, just have a dog with you all the time. And, you know, the dog's gonna, like, not gonna let that ghost fuck with you. Mm-hmm. Dog's gonna be like, what the, who the fuck you think you are? I can see you, pervert. I only find ghosts to be scary in movies. In real life, you're like, what? In real life, I've never had an Wait, experience where I thought there was a ghost. Did you hear that? Yeah. Let's go over there and check it out. But, what were you saying? I said in real life, I've never had an experience where I thought, where it made me feel like there could have been a ghost. When I was a teenager, I used to have a lot of thoughts that were not realistic. <laughs> I look back and I'm like, okay, I should have told someone I was thinking this and gotten proper help. You're going, where are we going? We're going to the right place, don't worry. Okay. Are you hearing that? No. There's somebody to the left of us. Uh huh. Well then. But. Um. This isn't a midday hike. This is like end of the day. Right. I think this is the tree she was. To Let's take a picture of this. This looks cool. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like this? Or yeah. do you want to have it more like this? No. Do you like it in the middle? Yeah. All right, let's take a look at that map. Yeah, we're right there. Okay. So she said that we should call her when we're here, so we might have to look around for a little bit. There's an animal or a person around here, and it's freaking me out. And also this tree is freaking me out. It looks like the, the dead body tree from 300. Yes, it does. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, fishing pole. Or ski. Sorry. Okay, this is freaking me out, dude. So there's a, either a deer going to pop out and start the deer revolution, as we suspected in the beginning. Well, I mean, it did say that... What did it say? It was like fighting the deer war or some shit. <laughs> I, I we mean, had said something else, but we interpreted it as a threat from the deer nation. As, like, the war has begun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or like, or it was like protect our borders or something like that. From the deer threat. With a picture of a deer. <laughs> <laughs> From the deer threat. Yeah. So, so we got pervert deer, pervert bears, a deer army to watch out for. Mm-hmm. This looks cool. Can I take a picture of this? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good pick, huh? Mm-hmm. Now I can't stop thinking that it's the dead body tree. I swear, we're gonna look at these these photos at the end, and they're gonna be like some dude like lo looking over a cor a rock or some shit. Oh, there's gonna be like somebody hidden in each of the pictures or something. And the first four pictures are gonna be of us sleeping. Oh, I think there's a cache over there. Where? Where? On the on the island thing. Turn to the left a little bit. See? Ah, good catch. Yeah. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I got it. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. Mm. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. Why would she say change the code? It's gonna be like a head. Right. Radio. Oh, she didn't want the guy to know. Mm -hmm. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. You know, that's not how radios work, but okay. Are you okay? Are you okay? 
don't know, Henry. People have been listening to us all summer. How is this actually happening? I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm scared. Who is doing this? I don't know who could be doing this. <sighs> Henry, I've been at this job off and on for 13 years. Sometimes here, sometimes over near Jackson, a couple times down in Wind River. And nothing like this has ever happened before. None of it makes any sense. Am I just making all of this up? I mean, the eavesdropping, the spying, is this... Fuck, are you, are you... Is any of this real? What? Are you serious? Yeah. Maybe I'm, I'm just... Maybe I'm just losing my mind. What? Like, Julia, maybe it's happening to me, and, and I'm imagining that I have a boss out here and that we're being spied on. Henry... Dude, what? She's doing it. She's spying she's, on him? She's doing it. She's doing what? I don't know. I feel like she's like doing something, being like, I just wanted us to be closer together. Uh, you, I thought you, sh you should understand, man. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. She's just being fucking weird. All right, what are we supposed to do now? Break into Wapiti Meadow. Right. Wapiti. 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 So we're down here. We need to go across the river. Great. Am I heading in the right direction? Come on, look, go down. Yeah. Okay. Just need to head north. Have my compass out. Ugh. What's wrong? No, nah, just. Walking around by herself. In the woods. Our only companion is a really weird lady. Mm-hmm. I don't know. She didn't really answer our question, though. What was the... What, what did she not answer? He was like... He was like, am I making all of this up? Is this all just not real? And she was like, Henry. And that was all she said. Yeah, she's... Just, something's not right about her. I don't know what's up. I don't know if it was like guilt, like Henry, I feel bad that I did that to you, or no, I, I am a delusion. Yeah, no. Why would you think that? <laughs> aside from the fact that I am a delusion. <laughs> I don't know. She's either lying or she's not real. Like just something about her. I'm like, girl, you are nothing but trouble. Mm -hmm. How do I get where? Hunt. Look at the map. There's two ways to get through. So. Yeah, I'm right at the thingy. No, you're you're trying to turn turn around. No, turn. Yeah, see, I'm no. turning right, and then I need to turn right when I go up a little bit. Okay. See? Wh which way are you trying to go? I'm trying to go north. Okay, but north is not. Um, okay, we'll just go this way. I could. There are both ways I can get there. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't figure out how to go north from over there, so I was like, "Fuck it, I'm out." Oh, there's a, there's a, a cash box. Yeah, we've already been here. Yep. I wonder if I should do a jump cut or just let people enjoy the scenery. Let's just have a conversation. Yeah, let's just talk about bullshit. Why not? Maybe you could give us a couple more, uh, Mari Explains works that are apparently great works of... Trash. Yeah. Great works of fiction. Hey. Uh... I just thought of something not, um, not great. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. Mm hmm Ugh, get this shit out of my face. What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know. And no, she said that. I yeah. didn't. I, I I just didn't want to be hassled. Uh, okay. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. 
Wait, he didn't say that. She did. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. Maybe they're at Wapiti Station. The girls? Yeah. Nope. Turn around. Go in the wrong way. Um. But I remember he didn't say that. She said, I'll keep it vague. And he just agreed. He didn't even agree to it. He wanted to tell her, to the police everything. Yeah. And she said, I'll keep it vague. But now he's saying that he said to keep it vague. Yeah. I, I don't know that that's like a huge distinction. Like if, if, like if, he, because, if they're the same person. Well, it's a dis yes, yes. I mean, it's a distinction, uh, because I think that we felt differently than he said. Right. Do you know what I mean? Right, right. Where am I? Okay. Because I think that what we really wanted to say wasn't an option for us. Like, we well, wanted to say, like, no, just tell them everything, you know? Mm hmm I, well, I remember distinctly, nope. distinctly choosing the option to say, I want to give the police a full report. Mm hmm <sighs> I don't remember what else he said, though. Yeah. Pretty. Do you want to take a picture of this? Yeah, sure. Like this, or? Yeah, let's get a little bit of purple in there. Yeah, maybe they're, um... Okay, I thought that was a bear trap. <laughs> Yeah, maybe they're either being held or, you know, I don't know. I do think it's interesting that he specifically brought up, what if none of this is real, essentially. Oh, this is really pretty. Do you want to take a picture? Yeah, with the water and everything. Like this? Yeah. Or do you want to like this or like this? Uh, How about like that? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with those girls. Maybe they got eaten by a bear, or the weird pervert we saw did something, or maybe the pervert bear did something. We don't know. Yeah. Am I going the right? No, I'm not going the right way. Right the wrong way. Almost went straight back to camp. Ah, it's over here. I'm allergic to these puffy things that fall off trees. I used to be at least, not anymore. I wonder what happens if they climb this. <coughs> My allergies used to be so bad that I had to be like sent home because I couldn't even open my eyes. And now I'm like, now I'm like, fine. I got over a man. Allergies are just in your head, dude. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> I, well, I think it depends where you're living. It depends on the allergy season. But I know that allergy seasons have been getting progressively worse as the climate warms. Mm -hmm. Oh, because the plants have more time to shove their sperm in the air. Yep. Do you know that pollen is plant plant sperm? Yeah. Now everyone in the comments is like, what? Ah! I've been no way! It's Every like, spring there's a bukkake plant? What'd you think it was? It's pollen. It's Every spring you get bukkake by all the trees. Yeah. <laughs> Man, those are some crisp shadows. I like that. Yeah. Except for when you look at it like this. Then it's like, what? What is that? Ooh! Stacy, what is it? It's spooky! Ah! <laughs> uh, hold on, let me check the map. Yeah, we're going the right way. I feel a bit self-conscious looking at the map and like, oh, I'm afraid of getting lost because I know somebody's gonna be like, women, right? Always getting lost, don't know how to read maps. And I'm like, I know how to read a map, dude. I'm fine. So yeah. remember in Oxenfree where they said that hikers would put stuff like that there? Yeah. I don't know, I just thought it was interesting to have something like that. Oh but yeah, uh, you know it's illegal to move them, right? These? Yeah. Forever? Yeah, I mean, like, if somebody, if, if they're the older ones, it's illegal to touch them. In all states? And, it's, and you're also not supposed to put new ones up either. Why? Because it's kind of like, 
it, you're like disrupting. So people use them to navigate. Oh, okay. And so if people, if hikers just start putting them up everywhere, then people can get lost. Oh, because people, hikers are like, oh, it's so cool, I'm gonna do it too. Yeah, but, it's like but in these some place people use them as like trail markers. So it's like if you were to move like, you know, like a, tra- a trail like an actual trail marker and like put it somewhere else people would get very confused i know when i went to visit your family's house your dad every time you know the tension would come up i just ask your family about those rocks everywhere and then suddenly all the problems were solved what rocks those uh rock fences that were everywhere what yeah every time we're in the car and everyone started bickering i go hey guys what are those rock fences you have everywhere? And then everyone would just start oh, telling me about ab- the history of rock fences. Oh. <laughs> I don't remember that at all. Easiest diffuser ever. Just like, hey, tell me about your town and history. And then everyone would be like, oh, okay, well, did you know it was illegal to move these rocks around? It's impossible. You, you're, you're not allowed to do it. It's true, though, because people use them as property markers. See how this works, guys? Yep. He's, anyone from New Hampshire, just ask him about the rocks. We love talking about rocks. <laughs> yep. I asked that same question like five times because every time, because it's like Stacey's family's huge, so obviously people are going to start to pick her. <laughs> so I was like, so guys, what about these rock fences? <laughs> wow. You guys must love maple syrup. It must be really good out here, Tell right? me about those apple trees. Instantly. Instant diffuser. Yeah. Problems. I just want to do this. Tell me about how much better your maple syrup is than Canada's. And everyone's like, oh, you're right. (laughs) (laughs) Whoa. I'm not saying it actually is, but... I just got surprised by this guy. Yeah. Not going, whoa, really? Your maple syrup is no, no, better? No, no, no. I'm just clarifying in case there are, there are any Canadians listening and they're like, what? Oh. Whoa. Ow. Are you allergic to bees? Me? No, oh, that him. guy. Report bee sting. I got stung by a bee. Okay. Is, is that it? Yeah. Did it did it hurt? Yes, kind of. O- okay, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, I have never been stung by a bee. Tell him about what your bee fate is. Oh, okay. So, and because of that, I have this like irrational fear that I'm actually allergic to bees and that if I'm ever stung by one, like and that so my body's natural protection has been to be afraid of them so that the I don't fate get... of the the fate of the universe yeah the has fate prevented of the uni- you has prevented me from getting stung by a bee and if I ever get stung by one I will have an allergic reaction and die if you're trying to reach Dr. Simmons he is on site from August 15th to October 15th university owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson Government-owned equipment is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area, and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. Hmm. What is it under control for? I don't know. Let's keep that for later. Huh. I mean, there's spooky music going but on, but I feel like this is a red herring. You know? Oh, what's this? Really? I know this is a little, uh, now we're in the restricted zone. Maybe they're monitoring a bear. The pervert bear? The pervert bear. Yeah, they caught him. (laughs) They're like, all right, that's enough panty stealing for you. (laughs) Get back in the fence. (laughs) And he's like, but I was just, and they're like, no. No, the endangered pervert bear of North America hunted to near extinction. Hunted to near extinction. The this last, the last remaining pervert bear has now been found. We must preserve this beautiful species. A, a, a diet of panties must be provided. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Man, that should be like one of those cute alternate endings that they put in scary games. Because in Silent Hill, all the Silent Hills are like, you know how scary Silent Hill is. Yeah. So, each of the Silent Hill games has a secret alien ending, where it mm-hmm. actually ends up it's just aliens. Oh, what's this? Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. 
Yeah, lucky for us. Wait a second. Hey, there is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20 foot tall transmission tower. That's not what that is. They can probably is. listen to whoever the hell they That's want. It's a weather They've been tower. Nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Wait a second. Changing radios doesn't make it so they can't hear you anymore. They're using radio frequencies. Well, I guess they didn't know that. I guess they thought the radios were, that those radios were tapped as opposed to, I don't know. Here's the thing though. Wouldn't she know that, but he wouldn't? Cause she's been working there way longer with radios. No, I'm saying maybe they thought like, that they did something to the individual radio as opposed to it's a tower that they're using to listen in on frequencies. I'm trying to go into the point where he's seeing this and he thinks it's a monitoring, to monitoring tower. Uh -huh. But I'm looking at it and it doesn't look like a monitoring tower. It okay. looks like a weather tower okay. with, that monitors weather. So I'm thinking he's seeing things and he's getting like cabin feverish, you know? Yeah. Because they're like, oh yeah, they're 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 monitoring my walkie-talkie, and it's like, dude, it doesn't matter if you change the walkie-talkie. Maybe well, I'm saying like maybe maybe he's losing it. Just something off about Delilah. First of all, her name's Delilah. That's not her real name. She changed it to something cool. Her real name's Susan or some shit. Uh huh. And then she's like, no, wait, you I'm think gonna... Delilah is a cool name? Yeah, I think Delilah is a cool name. I think it's a cool name that someone really nuts would choose as their new name. Oh, what's this? More weather monitoring. Oh. See that thingy at the top? Yeah. This isn't a radio tower. This is a weather monitor. <laughs> dude, what? this dude is not gonna know what he's looking at. And there's all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There, are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm. Not really up on high tech. We just walked across this thing that we weren't supposed to walk on. Yeah, it's a soil grid. Now they're doing something with the soil out here too. It's all gridded off. Uh, who knows what else they're up to? They're not up to anything, dude. We got a camp. What's this? I guarantee you, this guy is just doing weather experiments. They're, or some yeah, they're shit. doing experiments with soil. <laughs> just completely Hold normal. On, that's stuff. shaking though. Well, yeah, because it's outside. Uh, the, their papers are everywhere. I'm in their main tent. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. So they live and work in the same tent? Yeah, it's all one operation. <laughs> like us? Yeah, like us. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. Okay, so Five Mile Creek... Here's the lake. Yeah. Thunder Canyon. Two forts look out. What is this? What's this say? Maybe... Two fort area. Okay, so something departure from... That's us! Frequent departure Male. from two forks area. Female. Hold on, stop, stop moving. So, avoidance behaviors. No, this is for real shit! Uh, desire for desire for copulation conflict with other something what the fuck whoa I didn't I didn't believe this was real yeah this is real I that they're actually monitoring the two of them it look it appears so but why would they be monitoring soil also you know what I mean but it definitely look social role Sex, beacon, beacon frequency. What does M O P E O and N D mean? Social role. I don't know what social role would refer to. Pick it up. I think we can read it. Oh. Okay. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my, our, people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Dude. Are you positive it's you? What? I'm not sure, but I think so. I did not believe this shit. Yeah, uh, 
Okay, so there's a log here that tracks the movement of four distinct subjects. Oh. You and me? Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What about the other two? Maybe the missing girls? No, no, it's no like males. they're still out here and these people are following them? Maybe. It's possible, no, right? No, this is two guys. But then why haven't you seen them? I, I, I don't know. We'll talk this over and figure out how to get the hell out of here. So we've got... Oh, wait, no, that's Ron and Davy, David, I think. Disproportionate food intake. How... But that's from... But they're from three years ago, remember? Yeah, but they could have come back. Yeah. But, th so, it basically, two other guys, two other lookouts that are out here. We've got the frequent departure from Two Forks area, that's us. Mm -hmm. We've got the female, avoidance behaviors, consult previous data. We've got a male who says, unreciprocated desire for copulation, conflict with other males. And then another male who says, disproportionate food intake. Oh, there we go. So, what is, okay, so, M-O-P-E-O -E and N-D, what does that mean? I don't know. Maybe that's like what their uh, social role. Yeah, I'm but wonder sure. what that means though. I'm what the sure. fuck, dude? Desk in here is a mess. I mean, it's it's like someone was in a rush or knocked a bunch of stuff over oh, on dear. accident. What the fuck is this shit? What? Hey, this desk seems to be where all the monitoring is recorded. Just dials and computers and sorts of doodads. Holy shit, you don't think they're able to record our heart rate and stuff, do you? Seriously, at this stage, I'd believe just about anything. Hey, this desk seems to be where all the monitoring is recorded. Just dials and computers and sorts of doodads. Holy shit, you don't think they're able to record our heart rate and stuff, do you? Seriously, at this stage, I'd believe just about anything. What the fuck? Okay, hold on. Let's take a look at their cots and everything, make sure there's nothing else for us to report there. I just I wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. The, the sun is and down. they know you're there, so see what you can find and get out. What's that case? Where? The, the one that's glowing in the corner. Where? Over there. The fuck? The fuck? What is this? Ew, what? Ew! What is happening? Is this just some Ghostbuster shit? What the fuck is going on? I have no fucking clue what is happening. Follow right. the beeping device. Hi, right, can we say something about it? Uh, this thing is beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, I think I get what it's supposed to be. Oh, it's, it's probably inside the... It's not the, in the cot, is it? Mari, turn around to the cot. No. no? Okay, thank God. Okay, so it's out. We've got to go. Come on, back up for a little bit. What the hell? Where, where is it? Follow the beeping device. I'm following it. Yeah, but it's not like... Are we supposed to do something else with it now that we've got it beeping like that? Oh, clear away the mess. Oh. oh. <gasps> what the fuck is this? Henry Dude. Abbott Delilah A! What the fuck is oh, going oh. on? <gasps> Are you shitting me?
me? Oh my gosh. What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? <gasps> They're assessments about the two of us. Two wheat, ten wheat. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. What? We should just burn the place down. Think about it. Look, maybe that's what they want us to do. What do you mean? M maybe they're trying to push us to the point where we do something crazy. I mean, the grass is dry as hell here. It would go up in a second. Well, now I'm thinking, what if you're right? I, I just don't think we should do anything that we can't undo. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Comprehensive explorer, keeps to the path, prone to anger, passive, guilty, forthright, and guarded. I wonder if that changes if we play the game differently. I wonder. I don't know. Like, did we play it that we're prone to anger? I don't know. Subject has fully engaged supervisor, trust yet to be scientifically proven. All signs point towards full cooperation. Subject may be aware of test. Suggest we disengage if subject decides to leave his post. Susceptibility to manipulation. Oh, so fucking wound up! I think you gotta reply to that. It's alright. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Reliable, observant, charismatic, selfish, skewed perception of personal history. Never married, no kids, rarely hikes or leaves immediate surroundings. Multiple lovers despite long time, long time partner. Name, Javier. Susceptibility to manipulation, three. Oof. This is like... I knew she was... First of all... She's a liar. <laughs> she was a lying creep. Jesus Christ. The fuck? Yeah, the fuck indeed. What else is here? Those must be uh, points where they spotted them or something? Yes. What does it say? Equipment inspection checklist. going on i love this this is what like what the i thought i was like oh, okay dude you need okay and then i was like no way and then when he was like what if they're tracking me i was like okay that's probably not like not it because i saw this i was like this is just weather equipment i mean look at that shit mm -hmm. whatever nope no soil no okay we get inside it's the craziest shit you've ever seen 